Uh, P.S. Vita, you do realize you've been discontinued, right? So why are you still having all this epic news? Don't get me wrong, I'm loving it, but still. <laughs> Greetings fellow Vita fans, this is James with P.S. Vita at 2 a.m. coming at you once again with another exciting video. And if you're new here and love everything PlayStation Vita, don't forget to subscribe. Okay, so we got some really big news, in particular if you enjoy physical media and or are a PS Vita collector for this platform. And to be quite honest here, I can't really tell whether this is good news, bad news, or somewhere in between. Yeah, we're in one of those situations again. Wah, wah, wah. So I would definitely love to hear your thoughts and opinions down in the comment section below. Okay, so at this point in time, it's no secret that a company called Limited Run Games was essentially at the forefront at bringing us new exciting physical releases for our Vita. I mean, heck, they basically built their company company on a PS Vita game, that being Breach and Clear. And now we've gotten to the point where we can't even keep up with their releases anymore. And yes, while we were still getting frequent retail releases back then, they really did help build up our collections of physical media. So if we rewind time back all the way to like early-ish 2019, we started to hear rumors that Limited Run Games was going to be releasing an exclusive physical release to full set PS Vita LRG collectors. Meaning, if you had every single one of Limited Run Games' physical Vita releases, they were going to be supposedly sending us a free game which is exclusive only in that manner. With any leftover stock more than likely going to be sent out in blind boxes and whatnot for others to potentially get. That's just a guess though. And this was coming off the cusp of Sony discontinuing PS Vita cartridges in North America at the time. Which caused me many nights of no, no sleep. Heck, even Rupert wouldn't help me back then. It was an idea that the company had been throwing around, but we weren't hearing a whole lot of details about it. That is, until March 20th, 2019, when an individual by the name of Chris Cooper found a copy of Revenge of the Bird King for PS Vita that was seemingly left in the bathroom during a limited run games party slash event. Insert random poop joke here. And there was a lot of speculation going around that this was probably more than likely done intentionally, so somebody could find it and basically spill the beans online. And it was it was pretty obvious at that point that this was in fact the game that was going to be sent out to full PS Vita collectors because the game was in fact made in house. Yeah, we see what you're up to here LRG. So fast forward back all the way now to our current timeline in 2022 and even to this day we still have heard very little information regarding this potential release. Wow. I mean, that was anticlimactic. In fact, I was expecting that we were going to be hearing something after the Super Meat Boy physical copies finally were shipped out to customers and then, well, it seemed like it would be the appropriate time for Limited Run Games to finally give us some more information about this, considering that Super Meat Boy was their final release. But as far as I'm aware of, at the making of this video, there still is none. That is, until last Saturday, an individual sent me an email claiming that they actually got their hands on a copy copy of Revenge of the Bird King, and here are some images that they sent along with it. Three to be precise, as you can see. So needless to say, I was very intrigued with this information. And this individual is in fact one of the people who was confirmed to have the Binding of Isaac along with the other Nicholas releases back last year or so. I ain't jealous. I ain't jealous at all. Now if you haven't heard anything about the elusive Nicholas releases for PS Vita, I will have a video linked down below where I talk about it. Now the email in question has what appears to be their real name, so I'm going to be keeping this user's name anonymous because I don't know if they want me to release that information. So I sent them a reply and of course obviously my very first question would be, dude where the heck did you get this from? Days passed and sadly this individual seems to have gone radio silent about any more information regarding this game. Perhaps my reply went to their spam folder, I'm not really sure at this point. So again this was last Saturday so I let about 5 days pass until finally I decided to start doing some research of my own to see if I could dig up any more tidbits on this and oh boy was I ever able to find some stuff. Plus I really like Sherlock Holmes, like to a fault. So my first instincts with all this were, dude, check out eBay, there has to be something on there if this was some sort of transaction in the way that he obtained it. And I went onto eBay's listings and no, all I was able to find were PS4 copies of the game which in their own right had their own controversy back a couple of years ago but I'm not gonna go into that one. So at that 
that point, I thought, huh, well, let me check the sold listings and see if I can dig up anything there. And, sure enough, just like clockwork, yup, a PS Vita copy of this game did in fact sell on June 14th, only four days after I got contacted by this individual. Coincidence? I think not. And all I can say is, dang, this individual got lucky because this listing seemingly went unnoticed by PS Vita collectors because it ended with only one bid at $90. And to be quite honest here, I'm kind of surprised the individual who was selling this was selling it for that price. Seems like they could have gotten a lot more money for it, but hey, it is what it is, I guess. And I even tried looking at the seller's description to see if I could find anything additional when it comes to information, and all they had was Revenge of the Bird King, and it was on the PS Vita, which I guess we probably already knew. And the seller's name is called Brian Hackney, underscore zero. And I decided to check out what other listings they had available, and at the time of making this video, that appears to be the only thing they sold recently. Oh, they knew what they had. Oh ho ho, but it gets even more interesting, guys, because upon doing research for this video, I found out that there was an individual who posted on the very same day I received that email, mind you, on Reddit, a video of their findings. So yeah, we can pretty much assume that all of this is from the same person at this point, because the video in question went live on June 18th, last Saturday. And this individual seems to go by the username Full Set Vita Collector on YouTube, which I I gotta say, they certainly have lived up to their name at this point. I ain't jealous. I ain't jealous at all. So here are some clips from their video. Hello everyone. I'm making this video on the PlayStation Vita version, Revenge of the Bird King. I now have a full ESRB set factory sealed. I previously had 1001 Spikes, The Binding of Isaac, and V brand new now i got my revenge of the bird king i always believed it was real but now it's in my hands and it is beautiful there's the y folds i apologize for the lighting in here but can't really see the number there at least i can't right now revenge of the bird king the beautiful back i should say i just love it it's all beautiful to me LimitedRunGames.com Number 000 so yeah, it seems to be pretty legit from what we can make out. It has the correct folds, the shrink wrap looks appropriate, and since this individual does in fact own all of the Nicolas releases, it's pretty safe to say that they're a pretty big PS Vita collector. Just always remember, I'm not jealous. But the question that we're all left with now is, how in the world did they obtain this? Or maybe more appropriately now is, how did Brian Hackney underscore zero obtain this? Are they a former limited run game staff member? A current limited run game staff member are they a friend of a staff member and even more importantly now is the biggest question of all is limited run games still going to ever release this game to full set vita collectors because many people have theorized that if they are in fact going to do this it's going to be pretty hard to know how many people are full set vita collectors out there they probably would have to make like let's say 1500 copies which is what breach and clear had and then maybe sell over the leftover copies in light blind boxes or something Thing, as I mentioned earlier. Or in a worst case scenario here, since Sony has already halted all PS Vita cart manufacturing worldwide, we're kind of in a situation of do they have or do they not have? Meaning, did they actually make enough copies to give out to full set Vita collectors or did they only make like maybe a few test run copies and that was it? Basically leaving us in another Nicola situation here. And you guys all wonder why I'm not sleeping at nights anymore. Well, nah, actually maybe it does make sense because if they never release this game then yeah this is going to be one of the most rarest and sought after ps vita games of all time right up there with the nicolas releases uh why does ps vita collecting have to be so gosh darn complicated so i don't know it's left up to a lot of speculation here and thus that's why i can't really tell whether this is good news or bad news but i'm gonna be drinking a lot of root beer after this video so take that for what it's worth and i'll have all of the source links that i have talked about today down in the video description below if you want to check them out for yourself but of course guys i would love to know your thoughts and opinions down in the comment section. What do you think about all this? Does this look like a game that you would love to see in your collection? Or is it a game that you probably could care less about? And do you think that Limited Run Games will in fact ever release it? I'd love to hear from you, so get a typing. And as always, fellow Vita fans, thank you so much for taking the time out of your day to watch this video. It really means a lot to me. 
Love you all, and I'll see you next time. This video has been brought to you in part by all of these wonderfully generous supporters who help make this content possible. So a huge thank you goes out to Gutter Drums, Hemdall Imbert, Wendy K, David Ray, Hero Acer, Adam Sondi, PS Vita S, Richard Cruz, Joseph Shavak, Jelle, H Hitter, Michael O'Connor, Phantom XRS, Saul Ramirez, Kyle Brooks, JR, Silica, Per Sterner, Adam Thurry, Skullshur Tugel TCG, EMF, Claymer Merlarkey, BG Legends, Jared Hado, Kevin Enright, Heston Joseph, Crazy Cat, Rodrigo Vera, Rendy Azadech, Berserker Games, Catherine.uk, McKees Blob, B Mystery, Matt Fox, Reiko Star, Neo Rashi, Milk Sama, Lucian Ryu Cat, Air Kick 72, Zacredo, Alan Iwazuk, Shin Snake, Meshuga 360, Chris Foxhound, Save and Fire, Buzz Saiyan, Rizal Pliskin, 1488 Dental, Azumara, Nintendo Switch at 2am, Donut Valley, Ricardo Martinez, Dr. Super Artie, Franz Hartle, Aridri, No Good, Lacerated 87, Starlight Mirror, PSP Guru, Jamie, Hector Gonzalez, Kayonko, Erzin Mystery, Juan M. Hermosillo, Eric DeWitt, Tasha Monti, Mazgus, and Matt Hargit. If you would be interested in supporting the channel and gaining access to a number of perks, including having your name featured on the end credits of these videos, or if you wish to remain anonymous, that can be provided too, then make sure to check the links down in the description below. I have numerous ways for you to do this down there. Can't support in this manner? Don't worry about it. I also have some affiliate links from both Amazon and PlayAsia for anyone who is interested in purchasing something from them. Basically, the way it works is so long as you use one of those links to just access their website, then any Anything you purchase afterwards, a small commission will go to help support this content at no extra cost to you, the consumer. I also have channel merchandise available, and of course, as always, likes and shares can help equally as much. Oh, and don't worry, I'm not salty whatsoever about this individual picking up such a potentially rare game at only $90. No, not salty at all. Eh, who am I kidding? No, I'm extremely salty. The saltiest of salt. Now, if you'll excuse me, I'm gonna go finish being salty over in the corner.